hi guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel in case if you're new here i'm zara kashi and welcome to sassy girl squad so in today's video we're going to be discussing five common mistakes that we naturals do okay without wasting much of your time let's get started I carry my heart. so guys the five common mistakes that we naturals do I use the way because I'm also involved. My one is protective style obsession. You know, there's many myths concerning protective style. That protective style will help you to grow your hair and retain length. Yeah, yeah. Protective style will make your hair to retain moisture. Protective style will prevent hair breakage. But the honest truth is that not all protective style are protective style. And another is, protective style does not help your hair to grow. One thing is that as far as you are alive, your hair will always keep growing, okay? Protective style doesn't grow your hair. And also, not all the styles that we call protective style are protective. Not all of them are meant to be protective. Some can even be called destructive style, okay? So, I advise you to choose when and the kind of hairstyle that you are installing on your hair. Choose the one that will not get rid of your edges. Choose the one that will not hurt your scalp. And sometimes, allow your hair to breathe. Allow your hair to catch some fresh air, okay? Stop all this protective style obsession and so on. It doesn't help to grow. So guys, if you are still watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, Please kindly consider to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, you won't miss out any information in this channel. So, the second mistake of free naturals is buying expensive products without understanding the basic nutrients of that product, the ingredients used in producing those products. Okay, no, we naturals or many of us are fond of buying products based on review and so on, especially based on celebrity review. I don't buy my product like that. First of all, I do check if that product contains H2O water as the number one ingredient. Also, if I'm unable to identify at least five nutrients or five ingredients in that product i will not spend my money in buying them and again check if that product what the price tag of it and most of the products are full of chemicals that will destroy our hair they are not worthy of those price tag okay stop buying products based on big company or anything Check what works for you. Check the ingredients. Check what your hair really Another mistake of me naturals is unique products. Using a small tooth comb to tangle our hair. You know, detangling is a crucial part in natural hair care. But using the wrong tool can cause havoc. It can cause um, split ends, breakage, and shedding. So, instead of using a small tooth comb, make sure to use white tooth comb to detangle your hair or if possible use your hands okay stop using small tooth comb in detangling your 4c or 4b hair the fourth mistake of the naturals is following another person's regimen trying to follow another person's regimen it's not good that's a huge mistake do you know why one is that we all have different textures. We all have different porosity. Okay? What works for Mr. A might not work for Mr. B. Okay? Take your time. Study your hair. Know your hair texture. Know your hair porosity. Identify what works for you. And another thing is that we all live in different climatic conditions. You see? What works for me might not work for you, okay? Take your time, study your hair. Know what works for you. Don't dare follow another person's regime, okay? The last but not the least 
mistakes of we naturals is not seeking medical attention when needed. You know, we do complain about hair breakage, hair shedding, alopecia, all this and that. Most of them are medical conditions. There are some issues that your body might be going through that will cause those problems that you are complaining about. So I advise you to go to the hospital, check your hormones and everything before complaining about hair breakage or anything. Go and seek medical attention. There might be an underlying condition that you might not know that is causing your hair to break or shed. That's all for this video. So please, if you find this video helpful, kindly give me a thumbs up. Like, comment and share this video to your friends and family. Okay? Remember to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to be productive. Stay sassy and be peaceful. I carry my heart.